I just want to do a really brief update on this guitar because I updated it <clears throat> and so it seemed appropriate. I decided, you know, this thing's, uh, I've had this up for sale for, I don't even know how long, I think a couple of years now or maybe just a year, I don't know. Time, Time's mysterious that way. <laughs> uh, but I hadn't sold yet and it just kept, I just kept looking at it and I was like, you know what, I think that guitar needs a pickup. And so I just went ahead and put a pickup on it, and I couldn't be more thrilled with the way it turned out. I used it as a little bit of a bed for experimentation. I've been wanting, I love, I love acoustic guitars with floating pickups. I think it's a, a really great and useful sound to me. And, uh, and, and like, I love, I love the harmony versions or, or the weird, uh, the weird Gibsons like the Beatles had, or, or even just something as simple as a uh, arch top with a with a with a floating pickup. I think that's a great sound, an acoustic instrument with an electromagnetic pickup on it. It's got its own unique thing. And uh, and since this was already sort of a thin line instrument uh, with a nice acoustic voice, but not the, it's not certainly the, the loudest or bassiest thing. Uh, I thought it would be a great a great uh, platform for a, a pickup. And so I made these really cool oak brackets because a lot of this guitar is oak anyway, right? The sides, the back, the neck, the bridge, <laughs> the tail piece are all oak. And so I made these cool oak brackets that, that look really neat. You should check out close-ups. Um, uh, and I, I put this uh, Curtis Novak gold foil pickup on it that I got used on reverb. Uh, and I think this one is wound sort of in more of a Gaiatone style, or the insides are more, more Gaiatone style rather than uh, De Armand or something. Uh, I put these old radio, cool radio knobs with these neat painted colored triangles on them. Sort of, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, octagonal. Octagonal knobs. And as a ground, I did something kind of interesting on this one as a string ground. Um, I didn't want to put a metal tailpiece. I like this little simple oak tailpiece I have on here. And so what I did is I painted the whole area where the strings sort of contact the, the <laughs> tailpiece with conductive paint, black conductive paint like you'd use for shielding, and uh, put a little screw in as a bus, and that's where I run the ground to, and it works great so far. Like, I was really, really amazed at how it immediately worked. And it really, it made me think that's probably the way I'll do it on wooden bridged instruments before. I've run, you know, I'll often like glue a hunk of brass here. And it's such a pain in the butt to try to glue brass to wood and have it actually stick. And I've tried using tape and all, ki all kinds of stuff. I really like this solution. We'll see how it holds up over time. But I have a good feeling about it. It seems to be working really, really well so far. And the results speak for themselves. It's a great electric guitar now. I put flat.
flat wounds on it because that's that's just sort of what I had uh, lying around. But I think it suits it. I like I like flat wounds. And so its acoustic sound has changed a bit because it doesn't have you know bronze strings on it anymore. But I was careful in uh, my placement of the knobs and the way I floated the pickup uh, because I don't want to inhibit the acoustic qualities of this instrument uh, as much as I can, you know? And so I didn't put the knobs down here where, you know, more of the pump action is happening that may give guitars their voice. I put them up here. And that's about all that's, you know, any kind of compromise to what this was. And it sounds... The, the guitar has the same character, same volume that it had before, I'd say. I have my mic turned down a little bit for the for the um, amplified portion of this. But it's got volume, it's got tone. You know, the basic guitar junk. And it's just a cool update I thought I'd share because, you know, ooh, cool novel thing. Anyway, that's all.